Welcome back to Art Books Reviewed and today we're looking at this book. It's how to be a children's book illustrator. Have you ever fancied being a children's book illustrator? Do you want to get into that kind of world, that industry? Well you need to be able to draw obviously don't you and a few other things. Um, an art degree is probably going to help as is relevant experience. But in addition to all of those things it's a book with loads of examples and tips about how to get into this world. So it's a hard cover book published by 3D Total Publishing. What I really like is this kind of like hole, oh it's a bit bent there, oops, uh, in the cover so you can sort of see through the dust jacket, never seen that before actually, to the nice orange cover. So I'll put this back on. What does it say on the inner sleeve? It's hard to create children's book illustrations when you don't understand the mechanics of how children's books work. You need to know the rules before you can bend or break them. So let's have a look through this book and see what it says. So as I've already mentioned, it has this kind of hole here, which is attractive and, and unique in the dust jacket. Let's have a little look in here then. published in 2020. Here's the contents. So there's a foreword by Chris Chatterton, an introduction. It's about considering your audience, illustrating an ongoing narrative, telling the story, engagement, working with words, illustration as a professional, and troubleshooting. So the bulk of the book is made up of these sample stories, as you can see from 52 to 264. Um, so basically, Greg Dobbins has written these short stories and then they're illustrated by uh, different uh, illustrators. And you can see here, look, there's sort of the rough guide of the kind of the ages that they are meant for. So as you go on, it gets older and older. So here's the introduction. Lovely paper, as always. Lovely print quality and very colourful, as you'd expect from a book about kids books picture books in particular um, so it's talking about your audience um, it's actually talking about these different age ranges that we just mentioned so the different sample stories uh, are aimed at these different range groups it's a bit about including diversity about the tone of the book uh, interpretation illustrating an ongoing narrative how to interpret a story. So as you can see, look, it's just beautifully uh, kind of uh, laid out, isn't it, this book? It's a bit about thumbnails for storyboarding, character creation. Okay, this is really interesting. So this is about breaking down a sort of a picture book into uh, what is essentially normally 32 pages. So a typical paperback picture book is generally 32 pages. There's a good reason for that to do with the way it's printed. Uh, you obviously can have books with more or less, but that is is very is, is kind of almost like the default. If you look at a lot of picture books, they'll have more likely than than not they'll have they'll follow this uh, format. Other things to consider again is the the pages. Are you going to go for like a, a portrait or sort of layout, with which is uh, sort of landscape? So that's that's an important consideration. It obviously affects the space that you work within. Staging and pacing, continuity, these are all important things. It's good to get a bit of humour in, isn't it? Um, for the kids, but also for, for the parents who are actually reading these books to kids. Um, perspective, that's great, isn't it? Look it up into the sky. Use of colour, very important. Working with words, yeah. I like it when, when when authors do this sort of thing. It doesn't always have to be the same size, does it? Or the same font. Typography, yeah. Illustration as a profession. So this bit's talking about, you know, actually doing this for a living. One of the things you have to do in order to be successful, obviously, is to build uh, your own portfolio of work. There's a bit here about how to market and promote yourself, what you need to do in this day and age uh, to make it. 
and then of course working with publishers that's also important uh, you really need a publisher don't you um, you can self-publish books and it talks about that here but um, you know that's a lot more work uh, and obviously you're going you're to get it in more shop windows if you can find a, a, a publisher okay oh, how to deal with rejection that's an important bit isn't it because when you're starting out you're probably going to uh, encounter a bit of that how do you bounce back artist block what happens when you run out of ideas now we're into the sample story section so as i mentioned they're all written by greg dobbins um and, and like the way they've laid this out as well on these book shelves that's nice so let's just have a look through these After each story, incidentally, um, there is then a bit about how that story was conceived and some of the considerations that went into uh, uh, illustrating it, which is very interesting because you get to find out a bit about how the illustrator approached this project, or these projects. And you get that, like I say, at the end of each of these mini stories. This one's called This Is Me. And there's information about each of the illustrators as well including uh, links to their Instagram pages and whatnot, so you can follow that up if you're interested. Love the colours on this one. Okay, and again, some insights from the artist in the next few pages. Nice. Next story, Captain Cat. Anyway, you get the idea. That's the sort of the format this book takes. I'm going to just keep uh, flipping through so you can have a little look at the other illustrations in here. <laughs> book particularly useful for anyone 
that's uh, sort of making forays into the world of children's book illustration. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It's a really nice book to get. Recommend it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you next time. Bye.